Away from me, Brocky. Don't make me shoot you. What's wrong, John? Huh? Since when did you start pulling a gun on a man's back? Griff? That you, Griff? You promised you'd wear glasses. Griff, just goes to show if you pray long enough, something happens. Praying never gave a man the shakes. Who's picking on you, John? A boy, Griff. A wet nose, but mean, ugly. He was drunk. He made was... your skin back, didn't he? He gave me an hour to get out of town. Then you'd better go. You gotta help me. I didn't come to town to spank a wet nose. If he throws down on me, I haven't got a chance. Your eyes have been getting worse, haven't they, John? I'm broke. I've got to hang on to my job. There's nothing else I can do. You and me only got one trade. Take it away from us, and what do you got left? <laughs> 
There's a good eye doctor in Prescott. Oh, I can't sneak out like that, Griff. You haven't got any choice, John. You must have a good reason for not wanting to help me. It's none of my business. Then why are you here? Start running, John. Run before your eyes give out all the way. What if the doctor can't make me see? Then he'll be blind instead of dead. Commands and men obey. They're just putty in her hands, so they say. When she rides and the wind is in her hair, she has eyes full of life, full of fire. But if someone could break her, and take her whip away Someone big, someone strong, someone tall You may find that the woman with a whip Is only a woman after all Put it back, Barney Griff Hi, Barney that you behind a shrubbery, Wes? Yep. How's Nosy Barney? Back in the silver, boys. This camp's a bonanza. I told you, Griff. Our brother Chico. He's headed for California. California? With all the diggings here? The folks are out there. I couldn't help reading the name on that warrant, Griff. You'll need more than a third gun to pick up Howard Swain. You know where I can find him? Out at the Dragoons. We passed nothing out there but a woman on a white stallion and a regiment of riders. Then you've seen Jessica Drummond, the one I just sung about. The one I wrote the ballad about. Nobody around the Dragoons is allowed to sing it. So that's Drummond, huh? Yep. Boss of Cochise County. She and them 40 guns that ride with her. Beautiful woman, ain't she, Griff? Swain, one of our 40 thieves? He sure is. Howdy, Marshal. Uh, howdy, shotgun. Going someplace? Just off the road, apiece. Hello, Marshal. Howdy, Miss Lavinia. Chisholm! Where are you going? You're running out, ain't you? Please, Brocky, please. Give me a coffee. Have some coffee, Marshal. <laughs> Slap that letter, Marshal. Please, Brocky. You don't know what you're doing, son. You're no gunfighter. You're a mouth fighter. I'll pull that plow handle. Please, Brocky. Isn't there a sensible man here that can stop this drunk? Dad! Come on, Charlie, let's go have some fun. Blind. 
Why didn't you take my advice, John? I did. You need a gun, Griff? Mr. Spanger here. Oh, this is not my fight. I'll put a stop to this. You can't tangle with him. Nobody's gonna wreck my shot. He's a gunsmith, not a gunfighter. Mr. Gunsmith! Yes, Mr. Bunnell? All right, Wes. Where's your shop? I'll be glad to show you, Mr. Bunnell. Come on, come on. Let's break up the store. Which one, Brocky? That one! Now we have a 40. I'd like to stay around long enough to clean a rifle. Wes! Chico, let's go! Can you see me a farm dog? Me, I cut my teeth on a gun. They're still milk teeth. Remember what Pa says. They who labor in the earth are the chosen people of God. But I don't want to be a chosen people. I want to be Griff's third gun. If you'd only give me a chance, I wouldn't let you down. A man never knows what he'll do in a showdown. Were you ever scared? 
All the time. I got your ticket. See that you don't lose it. Read in the paper, but lots of stagecoach accidents. Hold up three and four a week. Desperados killed all the passengers. They never bother women or boys. If you were my size, I'd make you eat that. Excuse me, gentlemen. Which one is uh, Griff Bonell? What can I do for you? Well, I'm, uh, I'm Ned Logan, Mr. Bonell, the uh, sheriff of Colchise County. Guess you must be Wes, huh? Now, I'm sorry a bunch of drunken rowdies had to be your welcoming party, Mr. Bonell. Staying in town long? Long enough. That Brocky's a spoiled kid. That, that pistol weapon ought to sober him up. He's all yours. I don't want him. <laughs> I just come to thank you for... thank you for tossing him in jail. Too bad I wasn't around to give old Chisholm a hand, but you see, I... I had to ride to the border on business. With all your deputies? Well, being sheriff and tax assessor and collector all at the same time, a, a man needs plenty of help. Come and have a... A way of lying about the herds. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty tough sometimes dodging Apaches when you have to serve writs of attachment on outlying ranches and mines and sawmills. Uh, you here on official business? Yes, I guess you do have your hands full of that. Thinking of pounding the hills for a little silver? All right now, I'm thinking of pounding out a telegram. Oh, well. This is the place right here to do it. Tex will take care of you. Tex. A friend of mine wants to send a, send a message. Seen you make the walk, Mr. Bunnell. A little slower than that stroll you took in Dodge City. Would you send that, please? Uh, to Nicholas Bunnell. I was in the cavalry with our Captain Nick Bunnell in 47 in Mexico. He got hit in the leg and was invalided home. That was uh, 34 years He's ago. He's my father. Is the leg any better? It will be when he gets that telegram. Nicholas Bunnell, California. All in good health. Chico leaving Saturday. We'll write after we complete our business here. Signed, Griff and West. Thank you. Well, Miss Bunnell, anything I can do for you, I'll, I'll be here. Thank you, Mr. Logan. who assaulted my brother. I barreled him. Why isn't he locked up? Well, there was no charges against him. Do you know who he is? I'm quite familiar with Mr. Bunnell's talents, a legal killer for hire. I'm surprised a man of this caliber would put his brand on a car. A calf was old enough to put a 45 slug in a blind man's leg. Blind? That's right. Now then, what are the charges against Rocky Drummond? Disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace? He shot a man who wouldn't draw on him. Did you see it? No, but everybody knows that then... The Honorable District and Circuit Courts, County Court Chase is now in session. Since no warrant was issued to Marshal Chisholm for the arrest of the prisoner, the argument was a personal one. The prisoner produced a document with 19 signature of eyewitnesses swearing he shot in self-defense. Rocky Drummond, this court finds you guilty of disturbing the peace. $50 fine. Release the prisoner, his guns, and his horse. Court now stands adjourned. <laughs> Marshal Chisholm never gave us any trouble. He couldn't see. Why did you shoot him? Was it over that half-breed? I don't know what you mean. I don't want an unbranded calf in my corral because of your carelessness, and I'm tired of paying for your mistakes. Did she go to you? Of course she did. They all do. At this rate, you'll wind up with a woman in every faceta and a calf in every corral. Give me your gun. Sometimes a man's got to blow off a little steam. If you can't handle a horse without spurs, you have no business riding. Come on, your guns.
Why'd you run to my sister? Cry on her shoulder like the rest. No, Bracky. I'm not like the rest. Running to her for help? That makes you no different. Who could I go to, Bracky? Who could I turn to? You know I'm all alone and you wouldn't see me anymore. I had to go to her. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go to my sister and you're gonna tell her I never touched you. No, Bracky. I'm not going to lie to her. She was kind to me. She gave me money. She said she would help me and that... You're gonna tell her that you lied. No, Bracky. I ought to shove you right off this cliff. You doing your bread and butter goes with me. If Jessica weren't your sister, she'll never get her, Logan. You're too clumsy, you're too weak. You haven't got the stomach for her kind of woman. Kill you lots of times for the trouble that you cost her. <laughs> Why don't you grow up and stop riding rough shot with these girls? Got a chance to mount to some with a woman like Jessica behind you. We paid Chisholm 300 a month. We'd go to five to get you. Just the name Bunnell is worth the extra 200. Drop from line of bore 5 8 to 11 16th at comb for low mounting. 5 8 to 11 16th. They're worth jobs in being city marshal. Drop at heel between 1 and 1 5 8. 1 and 1 5 8. Time you settle down in one place, Wes. This is good wood for the stock. Fiddle back grain, you don't want that. Give me that new walnut that just came in, Dad. That, uh, all that flame grain. <laughs> this what you mean? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah? Such a fine. First time I've ever been measured for a rifle. You've got a high cheekbone and a low shoulder. You gonna make trouble for you? Nothing I can't handle. How long would it take to make this rifle for me? A long time. You'd have to come in every day for a fitting. Yeah. I guess it is time I settle down. This town looks like any other town. A Spanger rifle looks like any other rifle. Unless you know good work from bad. This is pretty good work. Never saw any better. Yeah? This kind of rifle's worth hanging around for. I never kissed a gunsmith before. Any recoil? warrant for one of your men, Miss Drummond. Would you mind passing it down, please? Mr. Connolly, does the governor know about this? Didn't come through our office in Prescott. Judge Macy? It's not a local warrant. Is it in order? Yes, I think so. Should be. It came direct from the Attorney General's office in Washington. Mr. Logan, it's a reflection on you for one of your own deputies to be charged with robbing the mails. I'm sure he will surrender to the United States government without resistance. Won't you, Mr. Swain? What are you talking about? You, Chief Deputy Swain? That's right. And you're what I'm talking about. Let's go. You heard Mr. Bunnell. Go with him.
One moment, please, Mr. Bernal. Aren't you afraid of ambush? I'm always afraid of losing government property. It keeps me awake nights. That's hard to believe after what I've heard about you. Just as hard for me to swallow what I've heard about you. Oh. And just what did you hear? <laughs> Would you gentlemen excuse us, please? The whiskey's in the sideboard. My reputation is going to suffer. A deputy charged with robbing the mail. It's hard to believe. And I once arrested a lieutenant governor. Oh, Steve. Don't forget this. Got lots more of them. For my guests? Any more of them been robbing the mails? What if you want? Logan wears the badge, but he's afraid of guns. The job pays well, percentage on commissions, and uh, so forth. And a man could get rich on the and so forth, is that it? You offering me the job? He wouldn't have any trouble getting elected. With your help? With or without my help. Popular killer like you. Ah, uh, I don't figure the job is my size. Could be any size you want it to be. I'm not interested in you, Mr. Bunnell. It's your trademark. May I feel it? Uh uh. Just curious. Might go off in your face. I'll take a chance. <sighs> could have broken my brother's skull. Yeah, I could have if I tried. I suppose I should be grateful you weren't hired to kill him. I don't kill for hire. I'm sure you don't kill for fun. I'm sure you're sure. You ask for the whiskey. That's good whiskey, Logan. You ought to try it. Check him in, Wes. I'll see you at the hotel. I disliked leaving Miss Drummond's peaceful dinner party, Mr. Bonnell, but uh, as sheriff, I had to be back here in my official capacity. I appreciate that, sheriff. Give the prisoner anything he wants, room and boards on Uncle Sam. Swain, I, I can't believe it. Honest to goodness. A man in your position. Here you are, you're drawing clean pay every month and you rob the mails. You ought to go to a head doctor. Excuse me. Come on. How long is this? Uh... This idiot got the Ford with us. Couple of days, Sheriff. Mr. Bunnell. <clears throat> Why don't you save the government some money? Hang him right now. I wish I could, Sheriff, but it's out of our jurisdiction. Uh -huh. 
Did, uh, did he do this all by himself? I know how miserable you feel, Sheriff. His kind puts a damp on all peace officers in the county. I know that. True. This is to bind him over to the Attorney General. Oh? Everything's got to be read and signed. All of them. Government regulations. <laughs> of course, yeah. I'll pick them up later. With the prisoners. I saw him, he was headed for a drink. He never touched the stuff. I told you to keep an eye on him. Is Griff Fennell up there? Yeah, I'm here. We've got your brother Chico. Where do you want us to put the body? Where was the first division, Mr. Bunnell? We came down here to have some fun. But your brother here drank up half the whiskey. Yeah, and he wrecked the whole place doing it. Well, thank you, boys. Thanks, Corporal. Funny. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Good night. Figure a squirt like Brocky Drummond getting licked up. He was born that way, scared and loud, but you going off half-cocked like that. Why, Chico? I'm old enough to drink. You're not old enough to hold it. Well, then I'll learn. Why? That's my business. Chico. Chico, what's bothering you? Why do you think I came to Tombstone with you? For the ride? You pistol-whipped a man wouldn't let me be part of the play. What if something happened to Wes? You know you'd never make the walk without a second gun covering you. Rode out to the Dragoons and you wouldn't let me be in on the arrest. I feel like a third leg. I hurt you, Chico. No. I got no taste for farming, Griff. I don't want any part of it. Why? Learn me to handle a gun. You learn me too good. Chico, you know what happened to Chisholm. Could happen to you. Could happen to me. Chico, remember when I told you how those Roman fighters used to chop each other up in some big arena? You laughed and called them freaks. Well, it won't be long now before people will be laughing at men like me. The last few towns we rode through, they looked at my gun. I know they figured I was one of those freaks out of the past. There's a new era coming up, Chico. My kind of making a living is on the way out. For a gunfighter, you do an awful lot of talk. I'm a freak, Chico. Just don't want you to be one. Well, I'm tired of being wet-nosed. I'm no agricultural cowboy. I know. Brand new 45 Colt Peacemaker. Nickel plated. An ivory stock. For me? It's for killing rattlesnakes and wild animals who find plenty of both of them on the farm. Well, you tell her this for me. She can't bind me off like the others. I'm not making a target out of myself for her or anyone else. That Griff Bonnell, do you think he cares anything about the border? He'd find me wherever I go, he and his brother. But, and if they didn't, someone else would. Swain, look, she's got influence. You know that, don't you? You know, she'll pull strings for you later on. Sure, sure. Later's too late. She's getting me out of here right away and legally. Tomorrow I want to walk the street. Still chief deputy. She can swing it, she's the boss. And if she doesn't, remember, there isn't anything about it I don't know. You want me to tell her that? You're 
sure. You heard me. Who shot you, Swing? Who shot you? Did you see him at all? Did you? Who shot you in the back? Tell me if you saw him, because I'm your friend. You know that, don't you? And if you saw him, we'll do something about it. Don't, don't, don't you know who shot you? Do, do, do. Uh, straighten out my legs. They are straight. I think his, his spine is busted, don't you? He, he, he's trying to say something. Did, did you see who shot you? Did you? You, you, you know, if you saw him, why, why don't you tell us? We, we, we'll, we'll find out who did it, won't we, Mr. Bunnell? Did he whisper to you at all? Did he, did he tell you who did it? Did he, Mr. Bunnell? Did, 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 Cut the did slug out, Wes. It's no good to us in the cops. Excuse me, Sheriff. Slug before? Sure. Comes from a new high powered rifle. Sharp sport shine makes it. Any around here? Only one man in the territory has one like it. Who's that? The late Howard Swain. That slug was just cut out of his spine. <laughs> well, then he must have been shot with his own gun. Who's the best shot in the territory? I didn't shoot him. Uh -oh. After you, who's the best shot? Mm. Charlie Savage. You got in a panic. But I had to act fast, and, and Charlie Savage is your best shot. You made a decision for me? Well, sometimes, you know, a partner can't wait I'm your wait boss, for... not your partner. You want me to crawl? I, I didn't know you'd take it like this. How do you think Griff Bennell will take it? But you're in the clear, Jessica. Everything's all been settled. Murder never solved anything. It was your decision and it's your finish. You had Swain killed, not me. Yes, but I had no other choice. You just hanged yourself. Start running, Logan. Start running like a feist dog with your tail between your legs. Please, Jessica. Take your gun hawks and run. <laughs> You must feel naked without your army. The Dragoons is at your disposal. What name is on your warrant this time? One of your riders, Charlie Savage. Oh, what did he do? Oh, just damaged some federal property. You seen him around? I don't keep track of my men, Mr. Bunnell, and I'm not responsible for what they do away from here. Must be plenty of good hiding places on your land. I'd be glad to show them to you. Can you spare the time? I want to see if you find him on my land. You want to spank him? I just want to see if you can take him. That's a good hideout. by a rattler in there when I was 15. Bet that rattler died. Yeah, I bet he did. You don't think much of me, do you? Oh, I think a lot of you. I think it's going to be rough on you if your brother's mixed up in this killing. Murder is not in his blood. With your brand on him, anything could be in his blood.
What's the matter? You look upset. I was born upset. between beef and men, but between cold blood and breeding. At 10, I branded calves, peeled horses, rode the range and slept on the ground. My father was rounding up strays when Brocky was born. I was alone with my mother, I was 12. I delivered him. He was born in the shack. My mother died giving birth. I buried her, went out. Roped a cow, got milk for Brocky. He lived. When I was 15, a saddle tramp tried to get rough with me in here. Rattler? My father was no hand with a gun. He was shot trying to keep me from getting bit. Did you step on the rattler? My father built this shack with his own hands. You've kept it as a shrine? No. Just a reminder not to let go of anything. When I was 18, I was boss of my own spread. I picked up Logan, a hundred dollar a month sheriff in a broken down camp I put him on. I got interested in voting, taxes, and silver. I spent money for the good of this territory, 
Sent lobbyists to the Prescott Council, financed mining camps, store mills. You came a long way. So have you. My men talk a lot about you. They ever tell you I drove most of them out of different camps one time or another? Those you didn't draw on told me. You shot your way across the map. This is the last stop, Griff. The frontier is finished. There'll be no more towns to break, no more men to break. It's time you started to break yourself. If a town has got to have peace, let somebody else build it on graves. You don't want the only evidence of your life's work to be bullet holes in men. I want you to run the dragoons for me. I want you to throw in with me. You still interested in my gun? Time you threw your gun away. You'll have to sooner or later. I'm giving you the chance. Why me? I need a strong man to carry out my orders. And a weak man to take them. My throat's dry. I'm talking too much. What do you want? You better not let her get you wearing those guns. You're not giving orders for her anymore. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than to watch Griff Bonell blow your head off, but then she'd blame me for I want to be the one to kill him. Look, nobody wants to kill him, Brocky, but the pressure's got to come off her and off me, too. Everything's going to be like it was. Now, give me those guns. I only gave up these guns once to her. Nobody else is going to take them from me. Look, this is Charlie Savage's play and nobody else's. Don't you see? If we're mixed up in it, she's mixed up in it, too. Give me the guns, Brocky. All right. Then I want you to get across the street and wait for me over there. Who's going to face Griff Bonell? Wiley, come on, get out of here. Wiley. 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 Come on out here. I don't like it, Sheriff. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to worry about. You see, Wes will come in first, as he always does, with a with a rifle to, to look the situation over, then uh, He'll plant himself somewhere around here to, to cover Griff's back. Now. Then you see Griff will come in. He'll stop right here. <laughs> He's cautious. <laughs> Wiley, you got nothing to worry about at all because, you know, you're going to be... You're going to be right here, round the corner. Can't, can't see at all. Now, listen. Griff will call out. Charlie Savage. And you say, yeah, then he'll call out, he's got a warrant for you. And you say, come and get me. And he'll say, all right. Now look. Griff will take that one step. That's what I mean. That's when you'll see I'm not Charlie Savage. <laughs> That's when he'll be dead. Word on him in Phoenix or Prescott. What about Tucson? Well, I think he may have slipped across the border. Griff! I've been looking all over for you. Charlie Savage is in town. He's over at the Undertaker's Alley waiting for a showdown. Where's that? Across from the gunsmith shop. Who told you he was in town waiting for me? Savage, Charlie. Savage did. He don't look scared. Thanks, Bonnie. Well, come on. It's all right, Bonnie. Can I help? Well, you go back and run your bathhouse. I'll call you if I need you. All right, but don't forget. Well, let's take a walk. Now, I'd better wait until we get Chico on that stage. Get him out of town. Here you are. Hey, Griff. Barney Cashman's been looking for you. What's up? Not a thing. In you go. Might take a couple days to find out what Charlie Savage is holding up. Yep. Might even take you a week. Yeah. Can I stick around while you run him down? Nope. Ah, oh, come on, Griff. Say hello to the folks. Tell them we'll come home for a visit soon. Yeah. 
Maybe in the next few weeks. Tell him I got a surprise for him. You know, he really would have made a good third gun. What's this about a surprise? I'm getting married. Well, you won't find many wives who can make a gun. That's right. You, uh, gonna stick around here? Yeah. I'm gonna be city marshal. Pay any good? Oh, better than the federal job. Anyway, they want the Bunnell name for the job. You know, after you pick up Charlie Savage, you'll need a new second gun. Yeah, that's right. Charlie Savage in there. Charlie Savage. Charlie Savage. Yeah. This is Griff Bonnell. I've got a warrant for you. Get rid of your gun. Come out with your hands high and your fingers spread. calling for a showdown. I jumped the stage as soon as I turned the corner. I got him right through the head. One shot. <laughs> and you wanted me to be a farmer. Now what did I do wrong? I killed a man. This up here. I'm gonna make this a personal fight, not so long as I made you my second gun. Understand? Yes, sir. Sure fixed them up pretty in this cap. Last time I killed a man was ten years ago. A boy. He was no good, like your brother. But he was still a boy, and I killed him. I could have made a crippling shot, but I didn't. Did you ever see a dead boy's eyes in the sky? Truest gun in the West. Ha. 
You know why I hate to get in the fights? I can't miss. Am I talking too much? In my heart, I've always asked forgiveness before I kill, just like an Indian asking forgiveness from an animal before the slaughter. You can't ask after you kill. It's too late, then. But I didn't come here to talk about that. I came to talk about Brocky. He put Charlie Savage's corpse on public display in a store window. A boy who'd do a thing like that is dead, or nearly dead. But there's still time. You think he was mixed up in that ambush? I don't know what to think. My brother Wes is getting married. I'm pulling out right after the wedding. That's why I'm here, to talk about Brocky. I know how close you are to him. More like a son and a brother, I know. I've got a brother the same age. You can break yours before you have to bury him. <laughs> Sorry, Jessica, but, but I had to shoot him. There was no other possible point to take. Why didn't you kill me? He thought you were my brother. Nobody wants to be associated with murder. No Swain is dead. Savage is dead. Your agent on the Senate floor ran off. The governor turned his back on you. Everybody's deserting the ship. The captain is drowning. The dragoons are breaking up. And it's his fault. He's your enemy. He's out to crush you. That's why I tried to kill him. To get your job back? Have you gone crazy? Job? Why do you think I lied for you, stole and bribed and cheated for my job, for money? Jessica, I'm a man. I have a man's feelings. You can't buy what I feel. A man can't keep this to himself forever. I kept telling myself, patience, hold on, hold fast. And she'll understand, but a man can only wait for so long. And a man has got to do something about what's in his heart or it'll break. What do you want to do with him? Nothing. Jessica. Jessica, don't do that to me. Please, Jessica, don't... Don't pay me off like the others. Please, Jessica. Jessica, don't do that. Jessica, please. I'm sorry, Ned. You know the real reason why he tried to kill you. He knows I'm in love with him. Everything he said is true. The Dragoons is crumbling, but I don't care anymore. I could save it, but I don't want to. I know how he feels. He feels about me the way I feel about you. But we can forget him now and everything else. The boy you killed, the life I've led, everything, nothing can hurt us now. You're not leaving here without me, Griff. What's happened to us is like war. Easy to start. Hard to stop. I never knew how to like anybody until I knew how to love. And I like you, Griff. Nothing. 
We'd better take a look. ringing, Sexton. Don't you worry about them. They'll be ringing. And you, Mr. Fly, you better make this your best job. First time I had to wash to take a wedding picture, Mr. Spanger. Have you gotten plenty of fries? Every bag in camp. and kiss the bride grip.
cheap gun, this whole mess wouldn't have happened. You, you're lucky you kissed the bride or it's my bullet be in your head. I'll do everything I can to see him live. going to play fair. In view of your cooperation, they're going to drop the charges against you. But as your lawyer, I must tell you again, you didn't have to give them so much. They would have been satisfied with half. I tell you, the politicians were flabbergasted when they found out what you were going to do. You, uh, you could still be boss, you know, if you wanted to. Sure, sure, the government knows you kept back a lot of the tax money that Logan and his gunmen collected. But Uncle Sam got twice as much that way than he did before you came along. Miss Drummond, you know what this means. They'll take away your land, your cattle, your house, everything you built up. Everything. been all this time, holding hands with Jeff Bunnell? Got any money left to fight for me? The fight's over, Brock. It's never over! You've been buying people all your life. You gotta get me out of this. I spent every dollar I could hang on to. The judge and jury couldn't be bought. Well, get an appeal. We can still win. We lost. Wait, it's my neck! I know. But there's nothing more I can do for you. You killed a United States Marshal. If it weren't for his brother, you'd get me out of this right now. You've got to hang, Brocky. Cool. We got a rope, but the government won't let us hang it. Come on. Jess. You're right, Jess. You've been covering for me all my life. I'm sorry. I'll take my medicine. Oh, Rocky. Rocky, don't. Don't, Rocky. Throw your guns down. Rocky, don't. Rocky, don't. Rocky, get rid of your guns with your hands high and your fingers spread. What are you afraid of, Griff? What are you waiting for? Let's see you shoot her. Doctor, she lives. What are you doing out of bed? You know what Doc Hudson said. I'm all right, Mr. Cashman. Now get back to your room right now, Miss Drummond. 
The doc said not to let you out of the hotel. Thank you very much, but I'll be all right. You're a lucky woman it was Griff Pennell done that shooting. He put that bullet in you right where he wanted it put. I know that, Mr. Spanger. There's nothing I can do or say or pray for that will bring him back to you. It's very hard to forget the man you love. I know. You have one thing in your favor, Mrs. Bunnell. Commands and men obey. Barney had no harm by that. He just likes that song. You wouldn't take my advice, Marshal. I'm going to take it myself. Where are you going? California. What about Jessica Drummond? I want to talk about her, Griff. You know, you... Did something for her that you wouldn't have done for Ma or Wes or me or anybody else. You lost your head. You didn't kill him like a peace officer. You blew up inside. Did everything you learned me not to do. Must have loved her an awful lot to kill Brocky the way you did. You don't talk like a wet nose anymore, Chico. Then why don't you go to her? You think it's me? I want her, I'll never have her because she won't have me. Chico, if she'd have killed you, I never would have forgiven her. You know why? Because I'm not big enough. You gotta be big to forgive. Someone strong, someone tall. You may find that the woman with a whip is only a woman after all. 